many people approach professional networking like they would collecting fine wines. They believe that as they make more connections and simply allow those relationships to age gracefully, that they'll eventually possess a golden trove of contacts waiting to help them. However, by analyzing networking data from a group of bankers, researchers found that people gain the greatest advantage not by continually maintaining the same network, but instead by expanding and contracting connections in those networks over time. In fact, the bankers only benefited financially when oscillating between these different network structures, known as brokerage and closure. Successful bankers leverage network closure to work more closely with a limited set of contacts for a period of time, perhaps working on a project with just a few colleagues. But they then followed that period of intense partnership with a brokerage network, in which they connected with people outside their immediate circles. This enabled them to connect across disconnected parts of their network to identify new opportunities of value. As they alternated between closure and brokerage, not only did the banker's expertise grow, but their reputations and status also improved with a wider variety of groups, enhancing their opportunities for financial growth. Think networking works best on autopilot? Well, think again, because a network slowly coasting down the runway may never soar to the heights it should.